I'm okay, yeah, and it's been a long time since I've seen you now because we've not seen I've not seen you in school for a while. Um, how did you get on with Miss Ashby? Is she still your form tutor? Yeah, and she's almost pretty much for every other lesson, but yeah. Oh, do you pretty much have her for everything? Yeah. I liked Wait. her though, she seemed really nice. Is she yeah, nice? Yeah. And um, children we care for, they, through no fault of their own, have at some points um, experienced um, a traumatic event that will undoubtedly have impacted their ability to um, connect in the classroom. And what we're seeing with the pandemic is schools sh uh, closing down uh, to protect public health um, and children needing to transition to online learning. And what that's led to is um, uh, a further exacerbation of existing educational inequalities. I think he gets bored, I think he doesn't like sitting still for that long, he likes more hand-on, practical things that he can touch and do, not sit in a chair and look at a screen or just, just not do, he, he can't do that for any length of time. And for us, what we're trying to do with the EdTech in the Cloud project is understanding how we can use technology um, as an alternative modality of learning to reduce educational inequalities by giving children in resource poor settings or lower, lower socioeconomic status uh, access to knowledge uh, in a form that they may not have had access to before to make learning fun and to also um, make it a, a bit more impactful. English literature for lots of our children is a, a, a struggle. Our students were unaware of what some of the words meant, so for instance something like cobbled streets, but because the students don't understand what a cobble is and what a cobbled street looks and feels like, then that they were thinking about that and they can't then take in the rest of the text. The virtual reality headset um, brought you into it. So you were on a cobble street and the, the narrative and the narrator that's talking to, to you when you're wearing the headset um, is describing and you're seeing it. Streets were paved with small round stones called cobbles. The workflow for developing this app started from the user. We presented what the technology could do for the students to the teachers at the Oxfordshire County Council and virtual schools. From there, we narrowed down out of a range of possible subjects, one that would be the key subject, the key book, the key scenes, the key paragraph of a specific chapter. And then from there, we passed that script to the graphic designers and the software developers and to the sound engineer and the voiceover actor and then we look back to the teachers who gave feedbacks. We can have a new version of the app collecting feedback and publishing it within two, three, four weeks. So we can have these rapid feedback cycles to ensure that the children are getting the knowledge that they need in the mode that they need and the mode that they desire that is fun for them and engaging. Did you get anything about the cleanliness around that? Did you hear anything that time? It wasn't exactly the best smelling place. It's just a lot better when it's been told to you instead of you having to like read it or write it down and stuff like that. It's, I find it easier because I'm not exactly a great reader. I'm alright, but it's, I just get really bored whilst reading, so when it's being actually said to me, it's a lot easier to understand, and it sort of sticks in a lot more. When we got the results that 65% um, of the children actually had a better educational outcome post the VR experience, that was extremely encouraging. 
And what was even more encouraging was the fact that the children actually enjoyed this experience. They sort of showed his siblings and it's like, oh look, this is banging. Here's a big cheesy grin. <laughs> we really um, believe and are excited that this is this is a this is a tool that will help um, close that gap and also um, develop confidence, um, the opportunities for developing and enhancing cultural capital um, and to um, be able to introduce experiences that there's no barriers or limitations with a, a virtual reality experience. The cloud technology in itself didn't change the way we run research projects, but it did change, in particular made simpler, specific aspects of it. Procuring IT um, servers, that is something we did not have to worry about. Maintaining the databases, that is something we didn't have to worry about. In the learning journey of adopting cloud technology, we discovered something new. Now, there are algorithms out there that are called natural language processing algorithms that allows a computer to understand our language and to extrapolate sentiment out of it. The value of having new tools at reach allows us to ask new research questions.